Welcome to a new and different kind of video here. This is the Hover One, my first e-bike. Now, obviously, if you see my hands and arms, you can tell this is a tiny bike. Clearly, it's not for me, but it is technically an EV. Now, full disclosure, I am part of a program with a retailer that works with manufacturers that sends out products to people in the program to basically use and review, and then they get to keep the product for free. And that's how I came across this. They had it offered and I was like, hey, I have a seven-year-old daughter about to be eight, perfect. She actually has doesn't know how to ride a bike yet. She hasn't ridden a bike. She has a bike, she just hasn't ridden it. So I'm thinking this actually might help her learn how to ride it because it'll help her figure out her balance without having to worry about pedaling at the same time. Cause that's really, I feel like the hard part. So with this, I feel like she can sit down on it, keep her feet out, above the ground and then just start moving and if she starts falling put the foot on the ground because she doesn't have to pedal so i think this should hopefully help her learn how to ride a bike quicker we'll see if i'm right or wrong but that's where we're at so before we get to talking about the cv obviously here it's already put together and unboxed so let me go ahead and kick you back to the unboxing so you can see that so here is the hover one my first e-bike and our first EV technically pink because it's for my daughter. So let's unbox it. Okay, here it is actually in the regular packaging so this is probably the box that you will see so let's see ages 5 plus i was wondering that max weight 132 pounds has 14 inch tires max speed 9.3 miles an hour can go seven and a half miles per charge according to this thing rechargeable battery speed mode battery indicator adjustable seat all of regular stuff and on the back what else does it say oh just what's in here wall charger manual multi-tool the bike weighs 21.6 pounds it says we already went over some of those stats lithium battery blah 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 let's open it up okay right on top here we have the guide A certificate and this tells you where the serial number is it is on the bottom of the bike operation manual of course a wear helmet blah 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 okay all that good stuff and quick start guide so it don't look like there's gonna be too much assembly looks like most of the bike is together one wheel one handlebar assembly seat that's it okay. that off and here it is box that I'm guessing has a charger yep there is the wall charger oh and here is some kind of cover and the multi-tool this is actually pretty cool it comes with one of these because you can obviously use it for a lot more than the bike actually let's see we have it's got like all your little hex wrenches, basic screwdrivers, and a couple of sockets. No, this is a cool little tool. It's something not bad to throw in your car and keep in your car if you needed it. So we'll use this to put it together. Okay, let's get the main bike out. And that's it. So we got a couple zip ties on some of these little pieces here so more zip ties one wheel and it is deflated it says inflate to 36 psi
Then I'm not sure what this is. Probably, yeah, probably handlebar cover there. So the handlebar assembly comes separate, but it's connected because of these cables. That is quite a uh, kind of ugly looking cable. Okay, let's set that down for a second. Okay, so real basic assembly. We're just gonna put the handlebar, stick it in here, adjust the height, tighten it. Same thing with seat, adjust the height. And this one is one of those quick levers, so we can actually just do that. So, this thing comes pretty dang loose, so you wanna definitely tighten it a whole lot more. There we go, that's better. Okay, now the handlebars. Man, there's not a whole lot of slack to get this handlebar in straight. Okay, there we go. I will say they don't give you a lot of room on this cable to get this thing in here. You're really stretching it, but it can get in there. So that's the lowest setting it'll go. Obviously you'll want to adjust this once your kid sits on it to the right height. But for now, we're just gonna put it about right there. And we'll try to keep it straight. And that works pretty much like any handlebar does on a bike. Okay, one thing it doesn't show you is you need to pry this off of here to get access to these bolts because this holds this, screws it in here. And you just sit that on there. Okay, so that tightens in here, and I don't know why I just did that because I'm gonna have to take this off to adjust the height. So don't put this on until you adjust the height, but I guess I had to show you guys how that works. So then that pops on there, simple enough. Okay, next step, last step is just the wheel. And there's not really a direction or anything. It doesn't matter how you put that on here. Putting the wheel on is pretty straightforward. You obviously have this little washer with the hook that goes into the hole, keeps it straight, get it on there, and then you can use the multi-tool to tighten it up. Of course, if you have your own tools, your own sockets, that'd probably be a lot easier, but still it's pretty cool. You don't need extra tools. You have everything you need in the box. So there is the e-bike, and then you have this little thing here that's just to route the cable. Which man, when you turn it that way, it'll stretch it out. There really isn't a lot of play in here. It needs to be just a touch longer. I really feel like they could have given it just one more inch. And not so much the brake, but the electronic control cable is really stretched. So I think we're at a high setting. It may have to go lower. And here's a little kickstand. And there it is. It looks like a tiny bike, but it should be fun for kids. Oh wait, I did forget one thing. These little caps here, that was in the thing. That just covers up these nuts. There we go. Okay, now before we use it, before we get into it, you need to charge the battery fully. On this charger, we got a light. It says when it's charging, it'll be red. When it's fully charged, it's green. And the charging port is underneath here. This little protective cover. And there we go, and see it's red, so it's charging. So right now it is about a little after about roughly 8.15 a.m. I will come back and tell you how long it takes to fully charge out of the box. Of course, they all might be different, but I'll let you know how this one goes. In the meantime, while that's charging, let's look at this quick start guide. So you have your controls over here. Oh, this is always satisfying. Pull that little protective strip off. Okay, so there's a power button and here's a different button here. So basically what we have, there's a light for L, light for H, low speed, high speed. This is the throttle brake, just like any other brake. I don't need to explain that. That's really all there is to it. So turn it on, switch between low and high speed, and then press the throttle to go. And then this right here tells you how much battery you have. All right, well, it's only been about three hours and it is fully charged. Time to go use it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. 
and apparently it's not just a press, you must have to hold it. Yep, gotta hold it for a while. Full battery, low speed. Let's just check it out really quick. Oh, the other thing I heard is it will not work from a stop. You actually have to start moving and then turn it on. There it goes. Just give you a little demo before I have my daughter try it out. So yeah, if it's not moving, you're not getting anything. If you go this fast, nothing. Let's go a little more speed. There it goes. So that's a little weird. All right, time to let my daughter try it. Okay, so let's see, does it work on grass? We're gonna try on this grass because she's not stuck on the sidewalk, it's not the street, it's safer. Gotta start walking harder. Here, I'll help. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yep, okay, so now she's going under electric power on the grass, look at that. So now you don't have to worry about staying in a straight line, let your kid get used to it. Yeah, this is great for learning how to ride a bike, so we're gonna do this a little bit and then from this we go on to a regular bike but look i mean her both her feet are up and she's under electric power right now a little sandy here short grass so yeah it can kind of ride on this all right so far so good okay so i was watching her ride on this bike and i noticed that her little foot peg thing fell off so apparently this isn't on very tight so keep an eye on that so for size reference you can kind of see how she fits on there the bike is says it's for ages five and up so my daughter's seven going on eight and just for reference she is 51 inches tall so four foot three and the seat is pretty much adjusted as high as it can pretty much go safely and the handlebars as well as high as i can go them without because if you get it at the very highest setting it kind of hard to make a left turn because it pulls on those cables. See, I don't know how old they can get to. I mean, it says they have to be minimum, like, I think 44 pounds, something like that. And maximum is 123 pounds. So she's nowhere near the max eight, uh, weight limit. Not even close. I think I've seen some people say their 10, 11 year old kid has ridden it. What? Is that the max speed? Yeah. Max speed, high setting. So. Not too fast either. Okay, it's time to wrap up this video on this e-bike. So overall, my review, honestly, really good. I mean, it does what it says it's supposed to do, and I was right. This 100% helps with learning how to ride a bike. Because then once she got her balance, her steering, all the aspects of riding a bike down, threw on a regular bike, and then all she had to learn was how to pedal. So yeah, so if you have a kid this isn't just my first e-bike. This could be my first bike. So if you have trouble uh, trying to teach your kid how to ride a bike or not sure how, I would definitely invest in one of these because it makes it so much easier. But then you're not done with it. Once once they learn how to ride a regular bike, it's not like you can't use this anymore. Uh, we do a lot of camping trips. We have an RV if you've seen my other videos. And a lot of times we're at the campground. And this is perfect for being at the campground if, you know, they're not in the mood for riding a bike or pedaling or, you know, telling you how their legs are tired. And it does hold the charge pretty good. After riding around several hours on that first day, it was still at like three quarters of a charge. I really don't have too many negatives. My biggest negative, again, is this cable right here. There's not much slack. So I would like to put these handlebars a little bit higher. But then it's like you can't turn left all the way because there's not enough slack in that cable. But I'll have a link to this exact bike in the description down below. And they do offer other colors. So besides pink, they have green, blue, red. So I'd say that pretty much sums up everything. If you have any questions, comment down below. I try to get to everybody. I appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you in the next one.